So I would be getting in the boat and sailing to Pettyville, but I figured I should address this. Dress, get it? <laughs> I know, corny, corny. I'm sure you didn't get it. <laughs> So a few people are a little triggered or hurt about the post that I made, uh, my most recent post or carousel, um, about the client who reached out wanting a 2,500 Waldron Sahidi knockoff for $500 because they absolutely love the work that I do. I want us to have a little bit of critical thinking just, just in life, just in life in general, Let's have some critical thinking because I, I feel like if you thought a little, it would save us a lot. And especially in my case with the work that I do, it would keep you away from these knockoff sites. Okay. So that is what I want us to do. Have some critical thinking. So if you follow me, you know the work that I do. I want to believe that I'm known for um, helping people who order from these knockoff sites thinking they're going to get one thing and they get another thing and helping them make those pieces wearable. So that is one thing that I'm known for. Second thing that I'm known for is preaching against these knockoff scam sites. I'm always telling you, stay away, stay away, stay away from these sites. Okay. I give you what to look out for. So that's another thing that I'm known for. Another thing that I'm known for is telling you to get or buy clothes that fit you. Clothe, buying clothes in the correct size. So those are the three things that I believe I am known for across all of my social media platforms. I'm pretty much everywhere. <laughs> so let's keep that in mind, okay? So now we're gonna look at the post or the request that I got. People are like, oh, she's just a kid. Um, you didn't need to out her like that. So with that in mind, some people were like, oh, you needed to be a bit more professional. You just needed to educate her. This was an educational moment. Um, she's a child. She doesn't know any better. Okay, so let's analyze. Let's do some critical thinking on this post. So first slide said, client, I love your work. Can you make me this dress for prom? My budget is $500. I love your work. Which work exactly do you love? If you follow my page, I haven't done a custom order in probably three years. So I'm assuming the work that you love that I do is alterations, not custom, right? So that is ding ding for me, red flag number one. What work do you love? What is it, what is it that you love that I, that I do, okay? Secondly, if you look, her budget is 500, but the dress, the inspiration dress, it's $459. So it's almost like she's showing me I can go slightly above what is on this site to get a custom dress. Doesn't that say something to you? Like, for me, that's a red flag. That's almost like I can pay you slightly more, a few more dollars um, so that you can make this for me. Okay, so let's go to slide number two. I say I'm not available for custom orders and that dress starting price is at least $2,500. Anyone who reaches out to me for custom orders knows I'm gonna tell them I'm not doing custom, custom orders. You can ask my friends, family, if any of my friends or family are in uh, the comments, just comment and let them know that I tell you, even for you, I tell you I'm not doing custom orders. So again, I'm like, I do alterations. My focus is alterations. So why are you asking me about custom order? But I'm also educating her and telling her because I can see that's a Valjean Sahidi dress. His logo is right there in the back. I know Ball Bella. I have worked with dresses from Ball Bella. Actually, my most recent reel with the purple dress, that was a Ball Bella dress. So I know <laughs> from experience that that dress is a stolen picture from Valjean Sahidi. His dresses range from about 1,500 plus. This dress, I can guarantee, starts from 2,500. So I'm kind of telling her that no, even if I said yes to a custom order, this would be a minimum of $2,500. So in so many words, I was kind of telling her, either raise your budget or find a different dress. All right, so let's go to the next slide. So client, please, can you make an exception? An exception for what? An exception to make you a custom prom dress or an exception 
to take $2,000 off of the price of a custom order. What is the ex where, what exception am I making? That in itself is a red flag. Like, where what exception do you want me to make? And then she goes on to say, I really love your work. Again, which work? The alterations, the education, what work? Because I haven't showcased a custom uh, piece in, well, so it's been a few months, but I haven't been showcasing that. So which work exactly do you love? But then she goes, I really love your work. If you can't do $500, I'll have to order that from the site. That almost sounds like manipulation to me. Like, um, oh, if you don't do it for this, then I'll go ahead and buy it on the site. Ma'am, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> like, is, was that a threat? I, I don't know. Like, go ahead. <laughs> So yeah, I said, go on right ahead because I know, I know what's coming. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, let me know when the dress arrives so I can offer alterations. So yeah, so that was a little bit of critical thinking on my part. I've been doing this for a couple of years and around this time, these are, these emails are not, this, these are not one-off emails. These are, um, actually a lot of designers get these emails. If you're a designer, if you do like custom dresses, please put in the comments and let us know, have you received such emails or something similar? Um, because you might think that they're innocent and they're kids and sometimes people are trying to scam you. People are trying to get the most um, from you with the least. So yeah, you, your heart might be to going out to these people and saying, oh, they're, they're a kid and, and all of that. Some of these have adults, actually some of these might not even be kids, some of these might be adults. Um, so they're not as innocent as you think. They're not as innocent as you think. And I can tell who's innocent. And the thing is, if, if this was an innocent inquiry, I wouldn't have posted. I wouldn't have posted that. But I have every year, every year, I think I even have a reel with something similar and it happens every year. So, all right. I'm also going to address one of the, uh, commenters. I won't, um, I'll, shade off her name and uh, picture, but um, she seemed to be very passionate about this topic. And so I'm just going to read her comment and um, address it. <laughs> All right. So she says, obviously, if the young lady is going to prom, she doesn't understand or have much experience in this. People start researching prom the year or even years before. I've had people um, approach me when I was doing custom people approached me and they were like, um, prom is only in two years, but can we put you on the list to make like a custom dress for our girl? So people prep, people know prom is coming and they make preparations for it. So I don't know about that. You're a professional. She's not correct. I think you do awesome work and you're good at what you do. Thank you. Which work is it? My alterations, my education. Again, which work do you appreciate? So I think you do awesome work, but you never know how the shady posts about customers or potential customers can turn off someone. I have never shaded any of my clients. And for this post, show me the shade. Show me the shade that I have shown in this post. I understand that I am not for everyone. And if that is the case, if every post that I post here is not for you, I love the freedom of social media. You can unfollow me. If you're a follower, you can block me so that you don't need to see any of my posts if they turn you off. The place that did my alterations for my vol renewal, if I went to their social media page and saw them poking fun at clients or potential clients due to their lack of knowledge, I wouldn't have gone to them. And that's your prerogative. You can go where you feel comfortable going. But then, but again, I do not shade any of my clients. I have never shaded. If anything, I am their biggest advocates and I do not shade any potential clients. Again, show me where the shade is. Um, but yeah. We are not professionals going to someone for a certain service. Alterations can be uncomfortable and I understand that. 
Alterations can be uncomfortable. You want to feel it's a safe space where no question is stupid. And I totally understand that. That is why I do what I do the way that I do it. Anyone who has dealt with me knows that I show the utmost compassion. So sometimes my clients are harder on themselves. When they come and see me, I have to, I have to be the encourager and let them know that, I mean, this happens. I know that it happens. It's an honest mistake. Although there are some people who know better, and again, some of my clients know better, but they know that I'm there to help them. So, um, but yes, I have the utmost compassion. I treat people with grace, integrity, patience. So anyone who has dealt with me, if you are brave to come out and <laughs> and comment, like let them know in the comments. Um, that is my heart. My heart is to help. And I know, I know that this um, this is the situation and, and this is how people feel. It goes on again. I believe you do great work. Again, what work? What work is it that you appreciate me doing? But I feel social media isn't the place to bash customers or potential clients. <laughs> who is bashing anyone? Like who is bashing anyone? Okay. She may not be able to afford you now, but maybe five years from now, she can, she can for her wedding, but she remembers this post about her. Um, okay. Yes, you didn't post any information about her, but she'll know it's about her and that may stick with her. You have to always be mindful on how we treat people, even the ones we may have to turn away. And again, I treat my customers with the utmost respect, the utmost compassion, or I try to, um, decency, grace, all of that. Again, anyone who has dealt with me um, knows, knows that I want you to leave this place happy, confident, and knowing that I did my best for you. If at all I can't do any of that, I will try and find someone um, to help you, okay? So, um, again, I don't know if you are new to my page and my content, so you're not familiar with what I do, but this post, uh, this post wasn't to demean anyone. If anything, it was about educating people. So yeah, a bit long, but like I said, I needed to address this. The way I do business, if you don't know, I'm a Christian. Um, I believe in the teachings of Jesus and there is a passage in the Bible that says, do whatever you do as if you were doing it for the Lord. And so that is how I try and treat my clients. Again, like I said, um, if you've had interactions with me, I try to do things in integrity, in patience, and I want you to leave my place happy and, and being fully served. And so, that is never my intention to uh, demean someone or bash someone or be shady <laughs> with anyone. <laughs> but you have to, I, I've been doing this for so long, you have to be aware, especially that they're scammers in all types of forms. You have to be aware and have discernment with the people that you interact with, okay? Um, you had 10, this person who commented, there was like 10 or 11 people who agreed with you. And so I'm just wondering, like, do you not know what this platform is about? Um, if you felt they needed more education, all you have to do is binge my reels, go through my page. You will get as much education as you need <laughs> because I'm not just saying stuff. You can see the clients, the customers, people who have gone before you, people who have ordered from that site um, and, and what they have gotten. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what exactly triggered you. What about my post triggered you? But again, I, I come to the conclusion that you haven't followed my page for long and you're not really familiar with all of the work that I do. Anyways, so that is that. Now I'm just rambling, but let me know. Do you think my post was shady? Do you um, think I could have educated her any more than I already do? And um, oh, another thing, I'm not, I'm not intimidated by people not coming to me. 
I really am not intimidated by people taking their business elsewhere. If anything, I encourage people to take <laughs> your business elsewhere because I have too much on my plate, but I'm called to do this. I know I'm called to do, to do this. And so the clients who are for me are going to come to me. We are going to connect. If there are people who are not for me, that's fine. That's fine. Go where you feel you will get the best service for you. Um, you will feel comfortable and all of that. That is the beauty about businesses out there. You are free to choose where you want to go to. So, yeah. So, okay. So I will see you in the next post video or whatever it is. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day.